What's up? I'm Field Medic. Uh, we're going to go explore a few thrift stores around the Boston area. I've been given the Run for Cover credit card and been told to spend as much as I want. So let's go out there and see if we can find some deals. Should I do some narration? So it's, uh, it's really important when looking for t-shirts to just, at a thrift store, you never know what kind of gold is hidden in there. So you got to look at every single individual shirt. Now, if you're asking me personally, I'm only going to be looking at the XL, XXL, Triple XL. Giant t-shirt is definitely the way to go. Giant fits forever. Tiny, tiny you're going to grow out of. See, when you're thrifting, you may be fooled by a shirt like this that allegedly looks vintage. It's not. And you should know that. This is sketch. Now you see, in my uh, younger years, I might have worn something like this. A nice goofy sweater is always a good look. But you'll see this is just a little bit too tiny. It's not going to fit. You need it to have a nice hang. Jackets in the back. I love jackets. See, this is a good find right here. Gigantic L.L. Bean. It could be a little bit bigger. But let's try it on. It's not bad. I'm gonna take a quick peek. It's not bad, but it's not big enough, dude. Mm-hmm. It's like the same. Kind yeah. Of yeah. Like, got the pockets. See, this brings us to an important point of thrift karma. It's important to leave the things behind that aren't perfect for you so that someone can find them. You can't be buying stuff and reselling it to Buffalo Exchange or Black and Brown. That's a curse. Someone's going to find this jacket and they're going to love it. It's not for me. Thrift karma. Okay, now this is a great one right here. The Big Red. London Fog. Great, trustworthy brand. We're going to put this one on and see what happens. Look at this one, Andrew. That's, That's pretty honestly, sick. Honestly, if you don't get it, I might. Great color. Nice puff. Oh yeah, this is, this is an unforgettable piece. This is a yes. Yes? It's got a lot of puff. That's gonna give you a lot of wind resistance, a lot of great, all climate, this is all climate wear. It's comfortable on the wrist. Feels really good on the wrist. You know what I mean? No winds getting in there. Yeah, this one's getting picked up. Best thing about thrift stores is they always play the best hits from yesteryear and this year. It's important when you live the thrift lifestyle or thrift everything. I recently just furnished my whole room with pieces of art that I found at thrift store now. I'm not in my home state of California, so I'm not gonna get this piece, but just as an example, we've got this great piece here, and this would be a great addition to any room. There's a wealth of incredibly beautiful art pieces available to you at all thrift stores, so don't pay top dollar for great stuff. Get something rare. I don't really know exactly what this is, but for $3.99, you could use image fusion technology and get the top of one picture on the bottom of another. If I was at home, I would be buying this. This would be in my room immediately. That's, that's hand woven for the low price of $5.99. I'm a shades man. I don't, know if, I don't know if any of these shades are my vibe. I feel like I'm from space. Sometimes when I feel sad, I don't want anyone to see my eyes. Now this is pretty nice. This is, is this a brooch? This is just an accessory anybody would need. You know what I mean? I think this is a brooch, but don't quote me. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Uh, we've dropped 11.98 so far. All right, let's move on to the next place, see what we can find. We're here at our second spot, Global Thrift. Uh, just left Sister Thrift, had a good jacket, fine. And now we have this vast store, very beautiful place. And we're gonna see what we can find here. Let's see, we got a lot of tees. See, this is an interesting phenomenon in shirts you'll find where the front is kind of boring. If only this had been on the front, meeting of the minds. I mean, it's not exactly something that I would wear per se, but I would consider it if this was on the front. A lot of weird, for all you businesses out there, put your wacky shit on the front. Not this little pocket thing, just a suggestion. Andrew just showed me this. 
See, this is on the front. We got a good Keith Haring going on here. And on the back, we have the Stoughton Public School acceptance of unity. Super sick. Cool on the front, great message on the back. This is a good shirt. Thanks, Andrew. See, tank tops are great. You got your high-waisted jeans, tuck in your tank. All of a sudden, you're looking skinny and you're looking badass. All your tats are showing. So I'm a big tank fan. See, this is a great tank top. It's the fucking Imperial Cerveza, a beer tank top you can never go wrong with. This one I'm gonna consider once again though, if this was on the front, it would be in the bag. Not on the front, I don't know. I'll tell you one thing I know for sure, they got a lot of shirts in this place. And as I mentioned in the last store, you gotta look at every single one to make sure you find it. And this is gonna be a task. You have to use advanced, advanced hanger technique to get through every single shirt. Just a quick look and, and move, quick look, move, quick look, move. Just make sure you take a look at every shirt possible. Sometimes you gotta move a large portion over here. Quick look, move, quick look, move. This is called advanced hanger technique. Hope you take that away from this video, if nothing else. Just in case you wanted to let anybody know that you're down with Egypt. Just straight up, nothing else. I fuck with it. I said this, is, this one's for Matt Karikis. Although I know he's Mr. Mortal Kombat, I'm sure he can get down with Street Fighter as well. Wherever you are, Matt, it's for you. Actually, I haven't even seen the white shirt section. Did you need to see anything good over here, Sid? There is a few things. Oh, yeah, that's this is lit, actually. I think this is a get. Neon Bermuda shirt. It already, it just feels so good and it's not even on. I love it. This is a yes for me. So we had a look around. This place had a really incredible amount of t-shirts. Um, there could be other hidden gems in here, but it's a little crowded. So we're gonna just get this shirt, try a look at the next spot and see what we can find. Easy, in and out 199. I couldn't even feel it when it left the bank account. So we just left Global Thrift, had a good t-shirt find, and uh, we're gonna hit up the third spot, see if we can complete the outfit. We've got a jacket, we got a shirt. Maybe we could try for some pants, a hat, a watch, some shoes. You never know what you're gonna find when you're thrifting. You just gotta be vigilant and go often. So, here we go. We're at a little place called Urban Renewal. This is a very large store. Last time I came to Boston, I visited this store and got a really nice red jacket. So I'm, I'm looking at coats, I'm looking for hoodies, I'm looking for button-ups. The gloves are coming off. You'll recall we found a jacket just like this at the other store, but this is the slightly more giant version. We're gonna have to try it on. It's kind of an instant classic. What do you say? Is this good stuff? Tis the season for many jackets. All right, over here we have a extra large, tall, Eddie Bauer snow, snow coat. It might not be the ultimate ste, but it's definitely the ultimate in warmth. It's big. Who wants to push me down a hill? I'll be fine. Functionally, it's chill, but it's not super cool. So it's not for me. Dirty, I think. Oh yeah, this thing's, this thing's just gonna get dirty. I'm tempted by the shape of this thing. How long am I gonna be walking around in a canvas jacket before it's just fully splattered? Two hours, three hours. I love you, but it's not, it's not gonna work. This isn't bad. Big soft gray. Is it, is it prep though? I think this could be good. Tuck it in. It's folky. Yeah, I like this. No preps, dude. I'm gonna walk you guys through a couple of uh, do's and don'ts of thrifting. As we talked about, hanger technique is very important when thrifting. Now. You'll notice that oftentimes, especially when looking at pants and t-shirts with wider collars, you might knock a shirt off the hanger. Go ahead and pick it up and put it back on the hanger when you're done. This is all part of thrift karma. Once again, when you find a nice piece that you would really like, or perhaps a pair of nice jeans, you're familiar with the brand, but they don't fit, leave them there. Leave them for somebody that really needs it. And uh, most of all, just have fun. You know, here's another actually thing to remember when thrifting is 
It's another part of thrift greed is, I have like four shirts that look exactly like this. Now, of course I want to get it, but I already have one. So I'm going to leave it for someone like me who needs it. We're going to check out the shoes. I saw a lot of boots, some good stuff. Shoes are tough because it's hard to find shoes that fit, but let's see what we got here. I mean, these obviously catch my eye at first. Not, they definitely aren't going to fit, and it's also not exactly my style of boot, but this could be a good find for anybody just looking for a nice, solid boot. It's waterproof. Yeah, so, unfortunately, I think it's a bust with shoes here, but uh, sometimes it just proves that sometimes the largest store doesn't have the treasure you seek, and sometimes the smaller ones do, so never stop looking. $26.97. Not bad. So we've just gotten back from thrifting around Boston. Thanks to Run for Cover for hooking up with some Skrill. Make sure you get out there and find the deals that are waiting for you. Make sure to keep thrift karma in mind. Never take what you can't use. Leave it for someone else. Hope you learned a lot and enjoyed our journey. I know I sure did. I'll see you next time.